Thank you, Pat, for agreeing to answer these questions. So I was wondering, um, you have this experience as a Catholic school teacher. How would you say mm -hmm. Catholic schools in Ontario differ from public schools? Um, the big difference is we teach a religion component. Uh, so the students each day, in theory, and hopefully in practice, uh, get a bit of a religious, religious instruction every day. And then we have uh, masses, uh, some schools once a month. It depends on the school, how their, their, uh, the number of masses they have. Some schools are involved with uh, the different sacraments in the Catholic Church. Other schools, the church, the parish church does it. All the students are coming um, from one area. The, the populations are diverse, but we all have this uh, one unifying uh, component, which is our faith. Um, and historically, I know now it, it's kind of, when you think about the school system and the population of Ontario now, it does seem like a throwback to um, an earlier era when Catholic education was created to protect the rights of the minorities. Uh, majority, I think we were a majority in number, but minority in, in political clout. And uh, this may not be the case anymore. So I know it's kind of a, for some, it's, it's not really a, a, a popular concept to have Catholic education, publicly funded Catholic education in Ontario. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm a product of it. I work in it. And um, so I'm a little biased and I kind of like it. And I know in high school, we do have um, children who are not Catholic that attend Catholic high schools. And even in our school here, um, if one parent is Catholic, was baptized, uh, then the child can come, even if they don't attend or um, one parent is not Catholic. Uh, so that's mm -hmm. my take I see. on it. <laughs> so did you go to a Catholic school as a child, you mentioned? Yes, yes, yeah, high school and, um, and grade school. Of course, when mm -hmm. I went to high school, we had to pay for our Catholic education. At, after grade, it was only publicly funded until grade 10. And so we had to pay for grade 11, 12, and 13. Um, but now they did away with that a few years, I think, after I graduated. So, so it was mm -hmm. pu pu publicly funded all the way up. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned, not everyone is happy about that anymore. Yes, I think, and I, and I can understand a, a lot of people who come from a different faith and you know why do the catholics have their own system and i can understand that especially now when when uh, you know everybody uh, you want a level playing field for all mm -hmm. um, but i see i've heard from some parents who aren't even catholic that they are interested in getting into catholic schools why do you think they may have that kind of goal? um i you know, I, I don't know why they would. I think there's the idea. Now, I don't agree with it. But I think there's a, a concept, a, a belief that uh, we might be uh, stricter or, uh, you know, our students wear uniforms. Some parents like the idea of a uniform. That might be the case. Um, some of our high schools are single, you know, are, you know, all girl or all boy. Some parents like the idea of a high school that's uh, one gender. Um, but, you know, I th think really a school is a school depending on the community. And, um, you know, that, that our children are more well behaved than at the public school down the street. Me personally, I don't think so. I think uh, uh, the, the community, the families, the teachers are all part of having students a well-behaved student population but I think that's mm -hmm. my impression that people think that Catholic schools are stricter and they might like that I don't that's my impression mm -hmm. I don't know why 
would you say apart from religious instruction, what kids study is the same? Yes, it definitely. It's the Ontario curriculum. Mm -hmm. I see. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no problem.